Hey, what's up, beautiful people? It's me, of course, Pastor Ken. Thank you so much for taking the time to view the content here on my channel. Prayerfully, I'm going to share some information that's going to be extremely beneficial to you as you look to find ways to change your life and also add some additional revenue streams to the bottom line. To that end, in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the five steps to starting your first side hustle. Why is a side hustle so important right now? For another way of saying it, earning additional income. It's simply because right now, if you are not aware of it, we are at the brink of recession. And just because a recession takes place does not mean you have to participate. And what I mean by that is you don't have to give in. And this is where a side hustle could be extremely beneficial to you as an individual, because starting a side hustle can help you accomplish a wide range of personal and professional goals from bringing in more income to actually enhancing your skill set. The key is, however, you can do this while maintaining your full time responsibility with your nine to five. If you've been waiting for a raise, listen, a side hustle is a, the perfect opportunity for you to find ways to earn additional money while you're looking for your employer to give you what you truly are worth. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about is expanding what a side hustle is and what some things you can actually do in the five steps that you need to take in really preparing yourself and starting your side hustle because it's anything that you do outside of your nine to five to earn additional money. And what I want to do is talk to you about you preparing yourself to develop a side hustle because believe it or not, I think we can all use some additional cash, especially have you been to the gas pump lately? Last week, I pumped gas, which is premium. It was costing your boy $5.73 per gallon. So believe it or not, I'm extremely passionate about sharing this information with you today because I want to help you win so you can continue to build a life with your family and you guys enjoy doing that without having much disruption as it relates to your financial affairs. The first thing you want to think of when you're looking at trying to figure out out what are you going to do as it relates to a side hustle is I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to make a list of your skills, your background, and your expertise. Why is this important? Because whatever you're good at, most likely you're passionate about. It's the thing that you're willing to do absolutely free. Now, for me, I love working with entrepreneurs. It's one of the reasons why I developed the I Am Pastor Ken Enterprise brand. It's because for the last 25 years, I have built businesses. Some have worked and some have not worked. I've discovered something about myself is that I love new beginning. And it's why one of the reasons why I run multiple companies. But my way to try to appease that appetite and resist the urge of starting a new business endeavor was I decided to take the time to spend my time and energy with those who are starting their new businesses. And this is where you come into play. And so I spend the majority of my time working with serial entrepreneurs, helping them identify, structure, and streamline profitable businesses that work without the headache of wasting time and money. That's my expertise. That's what I'm passionate about. I've been involved in real estate for over the last 15 years, run a rental car company here within the Dallas. Fort Worth area, a luxury brand rental car company where we have somewhere north of a million dollars of cars in our fleet. I'm a published author. We are involved in the trucking industry. We, I mean, my wife owns her own Christian university, accredited Christian university, and I serve as vice chair uh, in that Christian university. So you name it, I've been involved in it. The tax business, I've been in the financial services industry. I've I've done a little bit in any, anything else in between. That was was legal, of course. So I want you to think about it for a second. I want you to just take a moment if you need to pause the video and I want you to write down the things that you're good at, your skills, your background and your expertise. Now, before you start getting worried about, man, I don't have time. 
I, I'm going to hook you up. So don't be worried. Please don't get too, don't get ahead of me. I'm going to help you with that in just a few moments. But right now, I want you to ask yourself, what am I good at? If you don't know, ask yourself, what job am I doing? If you're a mortgage officer, put that down. Listen, I'm, I underwrite mortgages. Put that on the piece of paper. Take the time for self-reflection and determine your unique and marketable skills because this is what you're going to position yourself to do in your side hustle because with your side hustle, Here's what I tell entrepreneurs all the time as it relates to the products and services that they offer. Your job is to find a way to go into the future, figure out a problem, what's frustrating somebody, come up with a solution, and then come back and solicit, solicit those services and solutions to people with those problems. This is what your side hustle will do. We're just going to do it on a smaller scale. So this is why I want to ask, I want to challenge you to ask yourself, what am I good at? What's your experience? What's your areas or interests rather? So I want you to think about that. Secondly, I want you to consider the main objectives uh, for whatever it is that you're going to decide to do. Think about, I want you to write down. So if you are going to be somebody who's going to get in real estate. You're going to do real estate on the side. What are the main objectives? Well, I'm going to help people accomplish the American dream. They're going to purchase their first home. I'm going to help people provide a way to where I'm going to help them reach their financial goals. If they are, if you're in the financial services industry, I'm going to help the working class citizen find a way to be in health and be fit uh, without losing the foods that they love. You want to just write down what your objectives will be of your side hustle. And then the best way to think about it is start with your personal goals. This is the best way to determine how you can serve someone else is when you put yourself in their shoes and you write down what your personal goals are. These personal goals, believe it or not, will then translate to be something that they are likely interested in or want to see happen themselves. All right. And then when you think about that, the next thing that I want you to do is to consider your skills, your interests and your goals and find a way to mesh them together. And this is going to this is what's going to help you determine what you need to focus your attention on. All right. Number two, once you have found a way to make your list and you've identified your skills, your background and your expertise, number two, Determine how much time and resources you have available to, to allocate to your side hustle because believe it or not, some industries are time consuming. I remember, just as a matter of fact, in this pandemic, I someone rented a car for me. Call me crazy, man. Someone rented a car for me and um, he dropped the car off and I asked the guy because he, you know, he paid a pretty premium price. And I said, man, what what exactly do you do? He says, oh, well, I, I drive box trucks and I I work seasonal. I said, what do you mean you work seasonal? He says, oh, I work certain times of the year. I'm off in the winter and uh, I just work through the, you know, the, the spring and the summer. Uh, and parts of the fall period. I says, wow, what, what do we do? He says, well, I don't drive semi trucks. I drive box trucks. And so I says, well, talk to me about what it is you're making. And so he shared with me, sharing with me that he was making somewhere north of five figures on a weekly basis. Yes, box trucks. So what do you think I did? Because I love starting new opportunities, I made a decision to go out two weeks later, got myself involved in the trucking business. I bought my first box truck uh, and it ran me right at $90,000. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about the state laws, you know, road laws. I, I didn't know anything about drivers or anything like that. But I was, I'm a guy, I'm just going to learn as I go. I'm going to jump in the deep water and we're going to figure it out. When unbeknownst to me, the trucking industry was extremely time consuming. And what I want to say to you as a potential entrepreneur or as you develop your side hustle, please understand that bandwidth is important because it determines what industry you can focus your attention on. The trucking business, it, tr the trucking industry required more time than I was willing to allocate. So what do you think I did? I found a way to flip my problem. OK, so don't worry. I didn't lose my T-shirt and my hat and my shoes. I found a way to flip my problem. And I found a guy who had been renting from uh, Penske on a weekly basis, paying somewhere north of three to four thousand dollars a week. So what do you think I did? I offered him my vehicle, charged him a rate, and then I get a monthly sniping every single month for that truck being on the road. So I get a chance to fix his problem 
and his problem became an answer. His, his problem became an issue that I could fix because I had the solution to his problem. And I earned somewhere north of eleven to twelve hundred dollars on a monthly basis without having to do anything on a monthly basis. But collect the check. So I want you to think about your bandwidth because certain industries are, are, are have time uh, restrictions that you may not uh, be available to fulfill. Number three, this is what's going to help you is I want you to explore potential freelance projects and work. So once you identify what you're good at, you're going to find yourself going to maybe a website that may have opportunities for you to contract with them to do what it is that you do very well at. If you are a blogger and you're very, very good with writing, for instance, my wife is a, an amazing writer. She articulates and can really uh, add flavor to any writing or any letter. And so often I ask her to help me out. But over the years, I mean, we've been married 16 years. I have gotten a lot better in my writing skills. But for her, if she was looking for anything, I would have encouraged her to maybe do writing on the side because she's really, really good at writing. Uh, and for those of you who say, listen, this is what I do. For instance, I build websites. Uh, maybe I, I'm very good with marketing. I'm, I'm very good with branding. I'm very good with creative design or whatever the case may be, because these are all services actually that a lot of small business owners need. And so here's what you can do is you can actually contract a freelancer and you can go go to Fiverr and it's, uh, you can actually contract somebody who is in somewhere on the other side of the world. And believe it or not, for instance, you know, compensation in the Philippines is, I mean, Honestly, you can get a pretty good freelancer for a little next to nothing, as a matter of fact. So if you find yourself offering a service or product, rather, where it could actually be uh, 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 provided or given to someone else to fulfill and you're just playing the middle person and you're the one that's making sure that the fulfillment happens, then you may want to look out to a freelance service like Fiverr uh, and, and find someone who actually is doing the services that you're looking to fulfill. And then you market that and you add your price on it. And believe it or not, you can actually find someone to do those services for, for next to nothing. All right. So explore freelance uh, projects and, and potential work that may be available or you can look at that on the flip side. I want you to find someone who can actually fulfill the orders that you're looking to uh, fulfill through what it is that you do with your side hustle. Number four, I want you to consider some alternative side hustles like selling things online. Believe it or not, this is a big one. Um, this is where Amazon uh, uh, um, com comes into play. Believe it or not, a lot of the products and services that get delivered to our front porches is products that are coming from the average, you know, working class citizens in home. Somebody is actually offering service uh, or offering products that they've gotten at a deep discount. And they've priced it a little bit higher and they've put it on Amazon. And believe it or not, I shop at Amazon not for the prices. I shop at Amazon because of the convenience. And you want to keep that in mind. And then I want to give you the last thing is, is I want to challenge you as you think through this. Maintain a balanced workload as you develop your side hustle. Uh, as you take on more opportunities, you may find yourself getting requests from new clients, uh, which can really add up very, very quickly. So I want to challenge you not to overcommit yourself as you work in developing your side hustle. Hold yourself accountable to this new workload. But I want to also challenge you to maintain a balance to avoid that burnout uh, and make sure that you make time for yourself. Don't overcommit. I have a tendency to do that. So I'm challenging you. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't overcommit to projects, especially if you already got a job that's demanding and it requires a lot of your time and energy because a lot of our jobs, believe it or not, are mind consuming. Many of us, we can do the work. It's just the mental consumption that is required for you to do your nine to five. It, it can be daunting uh, and it can be draining. And so just make sure that you put yourself in the best possible position to fulfill what it is that you're doing uh, for the clients that you're looking to help 
with your, your, your new side hustle. Now, prayerfully, this information was of extreme benefit to you. Uh, and if you have been encouraged by this information, I would love for you to simply follow and give me a comment on the information that I've shared with you today. Hopefully it was advantageous and I get a chance to maybe chat with you one day by phone or have you be a part of something, some of our, our small business coaching sessions. But I want to challenge you to keep minding your business. Stay in faith. Thank <laughs> you.